so, unfortunately, um, you know, my prophecy has sort of come true. Now, it's been a week um, since the Manchester attack. And if you remember, a couple of videos ago, I basically said, uh, you know, in my Tommy Robinson trilogy, so to say, um, I basically put forward this. Look, Robinson and his cronies and people like him, all they do is they spread fear and then this fear then drives people to do acts because when you dehumanise someone, like, you know, a, a group of people, like the Muslims, like these people, like Robinson and co. are, then it becomes acceptable uh, to do violence on them. And, oh, won't you know it, from the BBC, Manchester attack, hate crimes doubles after incident. So, this is a quote from uh, the head of Police and Crime uh, Commissioners Association. He says, It is disappointing, but it happens every time. After Brussels, after Paris, after the murder in Westminster, there is a spike. Uh, that is that is sad that the people who target a whole community just because the actions of criminals, and they are criminals, they do not represent the community. Joe Cox's murder does not represent the white community of this country. The KKK doesn't represent Christianity, but it is. But that said, what we do have is to encourage people to come forward and report. Muslim leaders have claimed that most crimes are not reported because people are scared to talk. And this is a copy of a two-hourly uh, Greater Manchester Police log of hate crimes uh, recorded on on just Wednesday, just gone this week. Uh, a school received a bomb threat after some students were asked if they were Muslim. A pupil was followed and racially abused by a man carrying a metal bar. That could, that could have easily turned violent. A bank teller was called a terrorist and blamed for the Manchester Arena attack by a person who was opening an account. A person was approached in a supermarket and told, shame on you for what you did last night. Uh, a woman at a supermarket was told that she not, should not be wearing her niqab in public. And racist graffiti was daubed outside a property in North Manchester. And South Yorkshire police have also tweeted that officers had had that there had seen hate crimes increase uh, since the attack. And Essex police said there had also been more such incidents since Monday. Uh, in Devon, police have started an investigation into three men hurled stones and shouted abuse at a congregation at an Islamic centre on Saturday. And, you know, um, where does this go? And the problem is, we're lucky, we are so, so lucky that none of these were, you know, resulted in serious injury or death. But that's the problem, because this is where that will lead, that will go. Those incidents could be small potatoes to potential to be what could happen down the road. Because as I've said, as long as Robinson and company like him keep on, you know, dehumanising um, you know, an entire community that lives in the UK, who massively on whole, you know, do not support ISIS, you know, do not, I mean, they are not pushing for Sharia law as much as, you know, Robinson and co say they are. There is just this tiny, you know, right wing minority. It's like, you know, the Westboro Baptist Church in America. You know, not all Christians have this raging, you know, hate boner for gays like the Westboro Baptist Church and who go out and, you know, every chance and opportunity to go out and protest. You see exactly the same type of, you know, people who go out and do that and, you know, in London and, you know, you know the Islamic side of it. But that does not represent the rest of, you know, the community. Just as, you know, that quote said, you know, the, the guy who murdered Joe Cox does not represent the white community in the UK. The KKK does not represent, you know, 
Christianity. And the Westbury Baptist Church doesn't represent the entirety of Christianity. And this is the problem that I'm talking about that people like Tommy Robinson don't want to talk about or acknowledge. Because he then has to admit that him, you know, spreading fear, and then well, he would have to admit that he is spreading fear. And th this will cause a problem because sooner or later, someone is going to get violent. And this causes another problem because this um, our targets an act of aggression. What are ISIS and these other, you know, extremists saying? They're saying that the West hates you and that they want to, you know, um, get rid of you because you are a Muslim. Well, incidents like this add fuel to their fire. You are creating potentially future terrorists because someone Muslim throughout the UK um, you know, might be sitting there, might have been a victim of these attacks, might have known someone a victim of attacks, and then might have suddenly say, well, you know what, ISIS might have a point. And that is how radicalization happens. It just makes it so much easier to pour poison um, into people's ears when you get stuff like this going on, which I've just been talking about. It might be small potatoes, but it's not in the Muslim community when this happens constantly, again and again and again. And this is why I talk... <laughs> you know, I will continue to talk about, you know, Robinson and his ridiculous stupidity and his stupid arguments and continue to talk out against, you know, people who, who do this type of thing. And I know there's going to be someone who says, oh, but what about, you know, um, you know, the Muslim side? Yes, yeah, so what? I'll condemn them as well. Uh, you know, there's a group, uh, there was a YouTuber um, who basically saw a video of a young Muslim girl twerking who got so outraged about it that this girl started to receive death threats to a point where they had to phone in the police. He then decided to bring her online and then basically shame her into apologising. And that just shouldn't be on. Full stop. So it doesn't matter... Um, you know, who, if you're doing stupid, you know, crap like that, I will talk about it and bring it to light and say, hey guys, stop being a moron. But, you know, some people are, you know, so deluded about this. Like, you go on to the Tommy Robinson videos, you read, just read some of the comments. And I had a you know, I had a conversation with one guy who, as soon as he got off Tommy Robinson's script, the point is, we were agreeing for most of the conversation. You know, we were agreeing that, yeah, extremists are the problem. And then, because I wouldn't agree to his premise that it was all, uh, you know, Muslims community at fault, then, you know, I was a, a race traitor and what, you know, and you, know, you see his comments all the time on those on, on those videos, and it's just sad because those people go out themselves and encourage hate against the Muslim community who have done nothing. It is a small, small minority that do this in the UK. You know there are, the, and unfortunately, you know it causes incidents like that. And we have to worry when these incidents start to turn violent. Because how then will the Muslim community respond? Or well, they potentially might respond with violence because, again, it will come from a small minority. And then what? You know, that's, that's the danger we should be looking at and facing. But no one wants, no one wants to talk about it because... If you do bring up 
criticism against you know people on the right which are at the moment the main perpetrators of this then you are instantly some sort of traitor to the uk and you know advocate for islam i'm like i'm not an advocate for islam i'm, I'm an atheist you know if you want to go out and you know celebrate your religion then by all means go ahead and do it but you know whatever i don't care uh, so, yeah, bringing this video to a close because I'm rambling now. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, um, people out there basically showing violence and, in the process, making it easier for ISIS to radicalise people. So, congratulations, guys. You know, you're a bunch of morons.